Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 95 inch long Easy Lube 3500 pound trailer axle with the 4 inch drop. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system. You can use this to replace an axle that's on your trailer or you can fabricate a suspension to fit your application. It is a high strength steel construction. Now this axle is an underslung design. When I say that, that means these spring seats right here that the leaf springs mount to, they are welded to the underside of the axle. So the spring seats, the brake flanges right here, and the spindles are all welded on. Now axles are cambered so that there's a bow in the axle right in the middle here. And that's the bow until the weight is put on the axle. And all cambered axles should be mounted with this center bow facing up. And basically the reason it has that bend in the axle is to create a zero camber angle. So when there's weight put on it, it pushes down on it. It'll create a zero camber, camber angle for your, to give you even road to tread contact across the width of your trailer tires. So that's best for straight line acceleration and steady controlled towing. If you notice right here, they have the wire on both ends that goes through the axle. That's the wiring for your electric brakes on this. Now the label right here you can see on the axle. This should usually face the rear of the trailer when you install this. Now if that label happens to be missing, then those wires that come out for the electric brakes, those should be facing towards the rear of the trailer. This does have a four inch drop easy lube spindle. You can see from the spindle to where the axle is, there's a four inch drop. And the reason that is, it's a lowered axle beam will provide a lower deck height for easier loading and unloading. These are easy lube, so they have the built-in grease zerk fittings on the end of these spindles that allow you to grease the bearings without having to disassemble the whole hub. Now this does come with the castle nut, the dewasher, and the retaining washers on both ends. This part is made in the USA. A few specs on this, the weight capacity is 3,500 pounds. Now there's two critical measurements on an axle. One is the hub face to hub face length. And on this one, once you put your hubs on there, You'll measure from the hub face on this side and then put your hub over the, or your hub over there, measure to the hub face on this, and it'll measure 95 inches on this one. The other critical measurement is the spring center to spring center length, and that's measured from the center of this spring seat to the center of that spring seat over there. And on this one, it'll measure 80 inches. That's basically your trailer width. I mentioned it has the four inch spindle drop. The axle tubing diameter is two and three eighths inches. The brake flange or configuration right here you can see is a four bolt brake flange. Now the bearings to install your hubs on here, they are sold separately. This axle will use an inner bearing part number of L68149 and an outer bearing number of L44649. And the last thing I want to mention is when we, you do order these and we ship them, they are shipped with protectors on each end. This one's already installed. This one I took off just so you could see the included hardware. But this is what it would look like. It's a rubber boot. So when they ship this, what they do is they put a coating of grease on there to help prevent corrosion. And then they slide this rubber boot over the whole thing, and that'll protect it when it's shipped from any damage. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 95-inch long Easy Lube 3,500-pound trailer axle with the 4-inch drop.